guitarist and uh, music producer and uh, today we are going to do a tutorial uh, stage number one or the basics uh, of learning uh, Zimbabwean guitar or African guitar because it applies to all forms of um, African guitar um, so what uh, one thing I have to stress is that uh, even if a lesson is uh, five minutes long, uh, for you to be able to play fluently what's being taught on the tutorial, sometimes it may take you two weeks, three weeks, a month. It depends with how much you practice. So uh, the length of a tutorial uh, or the length of a lesson does not matter. But what matters is the content that you are taught and uh, how much time you spend um, learning what you have been taught. So if you don't practice enough, uh, you won't uh, improve. And um, so it doesn't matter with the time uh, the tutorial has. So uh, first thing we are going to start with um, the, uh, the numbers uh, that are given to to, to the fingers on the left hand. Uh, this is very useful because we are going to use the numbers uh, during the lesson and you are going to meet those numbers um, generally in the music industry. Um, finger number one is this one. Finger number two is this one. Finger number three is the ring finger. Finger number four is the pinky. And the thumb is always a thumb. It doesn't change. It's different from the piano. So finger number one, finger number two, finger number three, finger number four, and this one is the thumb. And then the second thing that I want us to be aware of is um, the names given to the individual strings on the guitar. When it's tuned, tuned uh, to a standard uh, tuning. String number one is E. String number two is B. String number three is G. String number four, string number four is D. String number five is A. String number six is E. Which means string number one and string number six are both E strings. So every guitarist has to know that. And um, the next thing that I want us to be aware of is um, how to place your fingers um, when holding the strings. Um, for example, I want to play this note. If I place my, 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 my finger slightly before the fret, uh, the string buzzes. So for you to have a clear sound on the string, you need to place it sort of slightly before the fret. And by the way, what I mean by fret is these uh, lines, these two lines that divide the fretboard or the fingerboard. This one is the fingerboard. So these lines that divide the fingerboard are what are called frets. And when you come up to this point, you notice there are two dots there. 
that's the 12th fret, it's fret number 12. So anyway, it's a basic information that every guitarist has to know. And uh, the next thing that every guitarist has to know is the major scale. I know some of these things might sound boring to do because uh, you can't play a song with a major scale and you can't show off a major scale to your friends and they can't clap for you just because you've played a major scale. But it's some things that are very important which you will always encounter in your music journey, whether you are a guitarist, whether you are a singer or not. So what we are going to be learning today, we are going to be doing it in the key of C. So we are going to, I'm going to show you uh, the major scale of C. And uh, it's important for every guitarist to know the major scale in uh, different directions and uh, different starting points. So I'm going to start in the key of C, as I said, um, on finger number five, but uh, using opening st open strings. So here we go. Let me take it again. The door number one is string number five on the third fret. The ray is string number four is an open string. The Mi or the third degree of the scale is string number four on the second fret. Then string number four, that same string on the third fret. Then string number three is an open string. Then string number three on the second fret. Then string number two is an open string. Then same string on the first fret. So it's simple. And then you can try the same scale from the same string, but in a different direction. Um, this is how we're going to do it. The same scale starting from string number six, and that's the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight on the fret, on the eighth fret, string number six on the eighth fret. You can also start it from from where you ended. I think for now um, it's safe to, to play around the scale with these uh, four, um, four positions. I know it's not fun to do, but um, it's very important for every guitarist to know. So now we're going to, um, to, 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 to learn the first chord um, that we're going to learn today. And uh, is the chord uh, C. Um, I believe uh, if you are learning African music, I believe uh, the chord C is very ideal, is the best chord for, for, for you to learn because uh, it offers a lot of options for, for an African guitarist um, who, is, who is starting in the music industry, I mean who is starting to play the guitar and um, even as an expert as you move on, uh, but I think uh, the chord of C is a very good starting point. And um, the way you hold the chord of C, let me start on the diagram first. Finger number, these, these are the strings, number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, number six. Finger number one, which is this one, goes there. That's where finger number one goes. And uh, on the guitar, it's there, on the first fret. Finger number two, goes there, finger number three goes there. So, practically on the guitar, 
This is finger number two, I mean string number two. You put your finger number one on the first fret. Then you put finger number two on the second fret but on string number four. One, two, three, four. So on string number four, you place finger number two on the second fret. Then we come up to string number five, the A string. You place your finger number three on the third fret. So what it means is we have um, three strings only. Number two, number four, and number five, which leaves string number one and string number three open. It means when we say open, it means they are not uh, they, they are not touched or no finger is holding them. So finger number um, string number one and string number three have to be open, and then you only uh, your left hand only holds string number two string number four and string number five. So it's supposed to sound like this. This is your, this is your C chord. Let me take it again. Finger number one on your left hand, it goes on string number two on the first fret. Finger number two, which is this one, it goes to string number four on the second fret. Finger number three, which is this one, it goes to the fifth string on the third fret. So string number one and string number three will be left open. So that's how you hold your C chord. But for you to complete a song, every chord has got relatives. And um, the relatives for um, the chord of C the major chord relatives are F and G. That way you'll be able to complete a song. Um, and most songs um, in, in, um, in African music, they usually play around uh, three chords and you have to create melodies around those three chords. So, uh, we are going to move to the chord of uh, F. Um, finger number one, it goes to the first fret and then it holds string number one and string number two in the same fret. So this is finger number one. It comes to the first fret and then you hold string number one and string number two both on the same fret. Then string finger number two, it goes to string number three on the second fret. Then Finger number three, it goes to string number four on the third fret. So it's supposed to sound like this. Yeah. Uh, watching it on video, it seems like it's very simple. But if you are starting to play from zero, if you are a beginner, it's not that simple. It might take you days and your fingers might get so, uh, so... It doesn't matter if the lesson uh, portrays it. It's, it's like it's very simple. If it's your very first time to play guitar, it's not going to be very simple. So I'm just encouraging you to be patient because uh, learning an instrument always takes your time. So let me explain again um, how you hold uh, the chord F. You take your finger number one, which is this one, on your left hand. And you place it on string number one and string number two on the first fret. Then you take your finger number two, which is this one, you place it on, finger, on string number three on the second fret. Then you take your third finger, you place it on string number four on the third fret. So it's supposed to sound like this. So let's come, let's go back to C. This is C. This is F. You can tell that uh, musically the chords are going somewhere already. Then for you to go to the key of G, 
Um, firstly, I want to show you um, how to play G using this shape, this movable shape, and then I'll show you an easier way to hold G uh, for this lesson for a beginner. So the <coughs> movable shape for G that we're going to do today is way by you hold your F like this, and then you just move two frets upwards. One, two, and then you are on G already. Because the name of a chord is determined by the shape you are holding on your hands and the position you are holding on the guitar. So holding an F chord like this, if you move two frets upwards, you are already holding a different chord and it's a G. So let me play C, F, then G. Those are the F, <coughs> F and G are the main relatives uh, of the chord of C. So this is your C. This is your F. By the way, you only play the strings that you are holding. Don't play the other strings which you are not holding when you are holding F and G in this position because it will make a um, unnecessary noise. And then, so this is C, F, this is your G. But for today, the G we want to play is um, where you play a string number um, four, string number three, string number two as open strings, meaning you won't be holding them like this. It's also a G. So let me start from C, the chord of C. You go to F, you go to G, if you saw on the intro, that's how you play the tune that we just played, it doesn't have a name, <laughs> I just created it for, for this lesson, for this tutorial. So. I'm going to demonstrate how you are going to play that tune that we started with. Um, this time you just, instead of playing the whole chord of C, we are just going to play, in fact throughout the whole piece, we are just going to play three strings only, which is string number four, string number three, and string number two. So, like this. But you'll be holding your chords the same way this side. So you just play string number four, string number three, string number two. And then you play the same thing, but on your left hand you'll be holding your F like this. So it will be like this. Same strings, string number four, string number three, string number two. And then you remove your hands and play the same strings again, string number four, String number three, string number two. So it's supposed to sound like this. So we want to play it um, in rhythm with the song in the key of C as well. And um, yeah, okay, here we go. <laughs> yeah, that's how you play the song. And um, I think with those basics alone, um, you can be on your way to being a very good guitarist if you keep practicing. But like I said on the introduction, um, a lesson or a tutorial video can teach you something in five minutes, but you might need a month to, to work on it for you to, to, be, to, to perfect it. So when you start the lesson, don't be discouraged if you can't get everything right within 30 minutes. But just keep practicing constantly and then um, 
you finally get it. So thank you for watching and um, happy learning. Uh, hope to meet you in the studio someday or on stage, um, giving me a testimony that you are now a great guitarist after um, watching my tutorial. Bye-bye. <laughs>